you got with him, baby? Oh yeah, slim daddy say yeah. I said my baby they give me ginger, number one for the matter. She no follower, no doubt. She's my only lover. Samantha, oh Samantha, Samantha do me something. Samantha, oh Samantha, the baby that she do me, do me, do me. Samantha, oh Samantha. I don't know how many rooms you have here. I could see one, 
This must be some names. Okay, so. And that's what you can you look like. You come here to the shopping. I see there, there are some young people here looking forward to get dressed up here. Now, I want to say something here that um, there's a difference between an interpreter and a businessman. And a difference is that a businessman, someone who just clench on the old idea, the old style, while an entrepreneur is someone who has got a unique idea, who brings uniqueness in the market. It's a trendsetter. And a businessman normally only follows what he or she found there. And no improvement and exactly what he found there, she found. Uh, whatever he or she does follows what others have already done. But the, the entrepreneur is a leader in the, the industry, but that's part of the industry. Set the trend and others follow. Now, for the first time I have seen such a, you know, even the opening was very stylish. Uh, this is one thing that uh, we have not seen here in Namibia. I don't know when uh, I see that. You come up with this very idea, you know? How do you before, before you come here inside and see what is in there, what is in store, already from there, you could see that somebody has thought about it, slept over that, came up with something. How do you make that to create that impression that we mean business. And that's what exactly happened today here. So all people here they have seen now. Now that is part of marketing in a way that um, everybody now has taken notice that there's something there. And that opening good. So I'm saying you are an entrepreneur and you uh, it's a young woman, young businessman, a young entrepreneur who you, you put that trend, you set that trend for other young people to follow suit. They will emulate you because you have come up with a very new idea. Not only that the idea that we don't want our people to go to South Africa. I have seen some couple going to South Africa. And some even go to go overseas just because they want the dress for the room and the bride. Especially for bride. The room is many we don't have many things. For the bride they go to South Africa and they, they don't because they don't trust. Maybe there are own people here that they can do better. But the, the way I look at you, I have, I have seen so many weddings. And I can tell you, you are really good. You are good. I see the thing you very handsome. And you will address now with a, a suit, you look very good. Yes. And of course, the men. This was done here. And imagine some of you want to go to the You look like that. You have your ways to look like that. And that will be a very good way. Now, I want to thank all of you. I want to thank especially Dhafa Anima Sutu. With the husband, of course, the successful one. Behind me is a hard-working man. 
Gentlemen, a very good evening from our side. Coming to you live, that is from the Safari Hotel right here in uh, Vintuk, the capital. Good evening, wherever it is that you're catching us live on NBC. And uh, it's an absolute honor to be here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Weya Kavandugye, and right here next to me is uh, TV presenter, actor, as well as entrepreneur, all the way from South Africa. And it's such a pleasure to have you here. Welcome to Namibia. Thank you very much, Wea, and thank you very much for coming out to this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, good evening, good evening, and good evening to all of those watching at home. It really is a pleasure to be back in Namibia, and it's a pleasure to be hosting this event, and um, I'm really looking forward to, to, to what we have in store. It's a lovely event celebrating yeah. Temptations, a brand. Uh, thank you very much to Mrs. Olivia Kanyemi Usiku for bringing me, mm -hmm. um, and, and having both of us host this event. So a big round of applause for her for this event. Yeah. Of course, it's going to be a gala dinner that is in aid of, uh, of, of course, uh, charity, yeah. mainly the, the Cancer Association of Namibia, mm -hmm. but we'll get back into that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But I must say, speaking of temptations, yeah. you look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and, you know, if we're speaking about what tonight, well, today was all about, the royal wedding, of course, between <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, ladies and gentlemen, does she not look fit to be married off in some royal occasion? You look absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Thank Thank you, thank you very much, Mavs. Well, tonight we are certainly um, styled, that is, by award-winning um, stylist, that's Reynad Mahali, so thank you to him. Um, the, all the looks that you're going to see tonight, uh, 
a big thank you that is uh, to Temptations as well as uh, Styling Done, that is by Reina Mahali. Like you rightfully put it, Max, tonight is all about uh, a brand that is giving back to charity, that is the Cancer Association of Namibia. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for um, your contribution towards that is this worthy course, right? We not are only just raising funds, we're also going to have a fashion show later on. It's fashion, it's music, it's giving back, it's going to be an absolutely beautiful night for tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for tuning in. That is on NBC One. That's for tonight. And just to get a couple of things out the way, I always get asked just very quickly, um, MUPS. People always say MUPS is such an unusual name. And where does that come from? It's actually short for my surname, Mabonyani. It's not actually my first name. My first name is Maseho, and that is done for lots of luck, good fortune, um, as well as blessings. But it's, uh, it's unfortunately, on, well, on my part, it's a... Uh, it's, it's, it's not a unisex name, as my mom likes to say it is. It's very much a girl's name. So for those who are confused, I'm Sarah in English, pretty much. <laughs> um, so it's, it's always been one of those awkward things. And eventually, Bubs came about to high school. I won't go into that story, but that's something else altogether. Another thing, people always ask me, because back in South Africa, I, I never know if, if it's something that's been lucky or, or I, don't, I don't know how to put it, but they always say, how is it, what is it like being, um, of what is a sexiest man? Because it's a very awkward exactly. thing. And seeing as we're speaking of royals, I must just put it out there that, you know, getting the Sexist Man of the Year Award is uh, really like sleeping with the Queen of England. <laughs> it's not something that you work towards, but when it happens, it's an honor. All right, so you just, <laughs> you just woke up like that. <laughs> so, I guess so. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I'm also dressed by uh, Temptations and styled by Reynard um, Mahali. And of yeah. course, I try to make sure that I was wearing close enough to royal blue, all, the, all, all of course, just, just to go with, with, with how good you look. But of course, Thank you. if you're wondering why we're here in this glamorous arena, and, and, and everyone's so, dressed so glamorously mm -hmm. as yourself, and, and I'm trying my best as well. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit more information on that. Yeah, we do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you are gonna be tweeting about this, Facebooking about it, as well as Instagramming about it, make sure you use the hashtag tempting, uh, tempting fashion, right? That is our official hashtag. And don't forget to uh, follow us that is on all the social media. That is, of course, uh, temptations, right? So I think that's we've just about ready to, 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 to get the program started. Yeah, and to get us started off, I'd like to introduce onto stage, um, without further ado, the Iron Lady, the force behind Temptations. Ladies and gentlemen, please may you give a warm welcome to Mrs. Olivia Kanyembe Usiku. <laughs> Um, during the day, I was telling uh, the guests at the shop that um, this is beyond my dreams. So if you see me saying funny things, it's because this thing is above me. Um, today is a big day in uh, temptation history. Um, I started temptation about uh, five years ago. It was uh, in a small shop, which is still running in the uh, Aero Shopping Center. Just about 30 square meters, the size of a bedroom. I remember when I was given a key, it was around 5 p.m. And uh, the employee went home, and I was walking by myself the whole night. I was very lucky because if you are familiar with Aero Shopping Center, there are three ATMs. Uh, the shop is between the ATMs. So the security guards were all over, so I was safe to set up the whole shop in one day because I wanted to open within a few hours. So now the shop grew to whatever amount of dollars, so we had to open a second shop in uh, LO, I mean, Town Square. So Town Square, we've been there for three years, and now we moved down to Sangam Building, which is a very big uh, space, 550 square meters. Um, I'm still calling it a boutique. Uh, some are department shops that are that, um, that size. We officially opened it today in the morning, um, ribbon cutting by Minister Pohamba. And now while I'm planning this, I was like, I want to do a fashion show. Uh, I want people to come and relax, they must eat. So I'm going to call it the gala dinner. 
And uh, someone must benefit. And the first option to come in my mind is uh, Cancer Association. Uh, cancer Association is very close to my heart. Um, currently, I'm an orphan because of cancer. My mom or my dad, they both died from cancer. My godmother, the woman I'm named after, Olivia Dafashino, she also died from cancer. Currently, as we speak, I have one aunt who passed away in March while I was already planning this. And uh, tonight, I have my aunt also who's uh, in hospital. And I was hoping she could watch this on uh, TV because when I told her uh, my plans, she was so happy that uh, I'm doing something which is very close to our hearts. Uh, we should put her in prayers. So running a business is not an uh, easy thing. Uh, you get all those compliments. Oh, you are working hard. Oh, business is doing well. Oh, so we have all these questions you get when you are everywhere. You can't go to the, sh to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's nothing in the bank and you meet someone on the street, they are like, oh, we see you, you are working very hard. <laughs> but they don't even know that uh, you are scared to check at the umbrellas. <laughs> so to those who keep on asking me how's business, I have a video prepared for you and then you can see how it's not really prepared, it's just a, a, a video that I have seen and I like it so much. It's, describe how business is tough. Um. That is my answer. <laughs> that is my answer. So um, today, um, as I said, is the biggest day in Temptation's history. We are going to have a, our fashion show. It's the first one so far. Um, and uh, I expect uh, that uh, you guys are not going to be disappointed. And at the end, we can uh, do our best to help uh, Cancer Association. Um, they need help. Uh, I have experience uh, throughout these uh, fights that uh, I'm dealing with uh, with my family issues. So I know we can do better to, to help them. You can hire things from them, you can get counseling, you can get screened. I can't say much about them, but uh, we have the, the president of the board here, she can explain uh, more. Um, just encouraging everyone and uh, all the businesses here or those who are listening from home, uh, let's try to help uh, whatever you can. But like today, the, the project that I opted for is called Psychosocial um, Project. It's their new project they just started. So they need funds. Um, what they would be doing is to talk to schools and communities to educate them about uh, cancer and counseling and other things. And in the mean, at the same time, they want to send some people to school so they can study in the field of uh, psychosocial. Apparently, we don't have anybody in Namibia. So um, enjoy the show. Enjoy the program. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you. Before I begin, I would like to add one more compliment to those sort of the set of compliments that you've received, Ms. Uziko. I think you are as bold as you are beautiful. And I want to say that before I begin and not forget it. Ladies, gentlemen. Um, my greetings to you. <laughs> Specifically, especially my greetings and acknowledgement, it's a little bit awkward. I would want to have a look, to look at the, those people that I'm addressing. Um, Ms. Olivia, Anyemba Rusiku, the owner of my patients. Um, I think 
I want to specifically acknowledge her because her efforts, and through her efforts, it is possible for all of us here to be here tonight, to attend this event successfully, and really enjoy this beautifully arranged garden. It is also befitting to acknowledge her because we need to recognize that it is through her um, it is possible to step out out of our comfort zones for a few minutes and a few hours to do something that is quite important for our fellow sisters and brothers and we acknowledge that these are people who need our assistance and it is important to do everything to make it possible to add to our contributions um, within our means to do so. I would like to acknowledge the Honorable Mr. Shifeta, the Minister of Environment and Tourism, and I would also like to acknowledge each and every stakeholder attending this event tonight, um, in one or other capacity, who has sought to make this event possible. Now, Ken, um, Mr. Siku has just spoken briefly about it, has initiated several programs. Um, in order to reach our targeted sisters and brothers across the globe and support them in their communities in fighting cancer. These programs are what we call Pillars of Hope. In essence, we have 12 Pillars of Hope and um, we have identified 12 distinct areas where we say we want to be able to fight cancer. Um, these are the Cancer Communication and Awareness and the Education and Care Pillars. Um, these, aim, these pillars really aim to create awareness and educate through printed media, um, radio talks, and TV shows. Then we have the Patient Finance Assistance Program, which aims to really provide financial support and transportation to our people in need of assistance. The Patient Accommodation Support for Adults um, aims to accommodate adults who um, travel with their children to Vintu when they require treatment um, in Vintu because it's not possible to do it in other regions. Then we also have the patient accommodation support for children and that is really um, the accommodation required for those children who need to come and get um, treatment in, in Vintu. Um, we've got the psycho psychosocial support which Mr. Siku has spoken about and that is really need is aimed to provide assistance um, insofar as counseling is required for persons going through trauma and um, for those who are affected by, by cancers. Then we have the pillar which is in support of the Minister of Health and Social Services and whose aim is really to provide capacity in uh, facilities. Um, so to say we want to be able to have capacity um, to give and support the ministry with capacity but also to provide better quality in those facilities where our patients are being treated. Um, we then also have the National Cancer Outreach Program, um, and it aims to host community clinics and train medical staff. Then we have the data and research um, pillar, which aims to administer the population-based uh, National Cancer Registry. The idea is they really to importantly measure um, and monitor the economic impact of cancer in our, society, in, in our communities. We have the regional committees and branches pillar, um, and this really aims to maintain our very critical and poor relationships with our um, supporters and our volunteers nationwide. Um, and importantly for us, with, with, without them, it is not possible to do what we are doing. Um, then we have the advocacy pillar, which aims to really support the Ministry of Health also, and social services, as well as the Office of the First Lady um, on cancer-related issues. Um, the idea there the really is to exchange it um, and, and, and learn from one another and, and, and basically um, develop um, uh, uh, frameworks and policies where we can um, uh, really address and tackle the issue of, of, um, of, of cancer. Lastly, we have the project and fundraising uh, uh, pillar, uh, which really aims to make it possible to execute all our local functions. Um, and, and uh, national fund, fundraising uh, drives. Now, the donations received on this eve, as they have been identified by Ms. Usiku, is really earmarked for the Circle of Hope, the psychosocial support pillar. So these donations will make it possible to uh, emotionally and mentally support our cancer patients and their families uh, during the diagnosis, their treatment, 
and it will see towards seeing that they are rehabilitated back into society um, uh, post their treatment. Um, because it is really a costly endeavor involving particularly skilled people um, and resources. Um, so all our support from you um, sitting here um, is absolutely critical in realizing this. It is needed and we need you to accelerate our efforts towards achieving our vision as well as to help break stigmas associated with cancer. We therefore acknowledge these efforts such as those that are made to make these pillars of hope possible. In doing so, I want to particularly say the following to Ms. Usiku and those like her. No one person, no organization, anywhere in life can achieve what it has to without the support of people. Without the struggles of creating funds, through your efforts, the efforts and strides made towards successfully fighting cancer, it would not be possible. We all got here because somebody helped us. So whatever the outcome of these events, the results of your hard work may encourage you, and I want them to encourage you to continue your efforts. Your boldness for taking a stand to make a difference is everything that matters. Your strides today make it possible to give hope and resilience to all women and men across the spectrum of our nation. You give them hope to wake up every single day and confront the difficult business of living. You give them hope to continue. Your efforts to say to those that are watching you that you have distinguished yourself by sending a clear message that you want to give back, that you want to impact people's lives, that this is important, that how hard you work matters more than how much money you make, and that helping others means more than getting ahead of yourself is absolutely exceptional. So I want to applaud you for your efforts. I want to acknowledge all our stakeholders here tonight. I think I want to mention particularly um, the Minister of Health and Social Services also, who have also assisted the Cancer Association in their efforts to achieving uh, their vision. Through them also we have established the National Cancer Control Plan, the National Cancer Registry, and we have made great strides in the Tobacco Control Act. So we would like to thank you. To all those stakeholders, you know yourselves, who are here, assisting in this plight, which is quite real, assisting us in making a difference amongst our people, I want to thank you. To conclude, I would like to send you the greeting from our CEO, he's actually the face of our, and the heartbeat, I think, of the Cancer Association. Um, he is currently in the Zambezi region um, and is attending towards Program 6 of the National Cancer Outreach, um, which is currently underway. Um, so I would like to send greetings through him also. A very warm appreciation towards all your efforts tonight. I know that it will be a successful evening and it will be a wonderful event. And I am privileged to be here tonight. Thank you. The next person who's going to be coming up, coming up in Central, the next performance we'll be having, they've informed me that this is to uplift the Cancer Association um, of Namibia and all those who are suffering from cancer. Because it's such a serious, uh, serious issue, they've decided to come up with this song to uplift that movement and also, of course, dedicate it to the entire movement of fighting against cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, Fishman. We fight, ta 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 ta. Even though you're going through, ta 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 ta. Oh, 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 oh,
issue that affects cancer patients and their families. More support to sustain national cancer outreach campaign is indeed important. This outreach is a complementary to rural communities of our country. Through this, we will be able to educate Namibians on issues related to cancer prevention and um, health lifestyle, including the importance of early detection. Due to lack of um, sufficient funds, this remains a challenge. According to researchers, more than 40 percent of cancer can be prevented. And I believe fighting cancer is a collective effort. It is our responsibility at, a, and at an individual level to prevent cancer by making the right lifestyle choices. Some of the preventative measures that we can continue to be educated about are to avoid smoking, especially secondhand smoking, follow the diet which um, is higher in fruits and vegetables, be physical, physically active, consume lots of water, avoid over exposure to the sun, and avoid too much alcohol consumption. It is important to know and to communicate with your body and report unusual challenges to the health professionals. Regular screening, for example, cervical cancer screening, self breast examination, and a prostate cancer screening. These are very important uh, steps. Director of ceremonies, it is encouraging to see business, businesses taking a proactive role in a fight against cancer. And I salute all of you here tonight. Your support through buying of tickets or donate, donating funds is very acknowledged here tonight. Events like this are meant to raise funds to assist cancer patients and their families to cope with the affliction and also make their surroundings and the circumstances a little bit more tolerable. I understand that temptation patients will donate 80% of tonight's proceeds to Cancer Association of Namibia. I urge everyone present here tonight to dig deeper in their pockets and support this very noble cause during the pledging, the ball is in your hand. I thank you for your humble attention.
welcome to the part of the evening where we get to auction off a couple of things and um, maybe Delta is also part of it. I don't know if he's up for it. Yeah? Do you Can want to be auctioned off? <laughs> <laughs> it's for a good cause. <laughs> it's for a good cause. Can we he's, sell you for a good cause? He's <laughs> <laughs> it's going for anything, but um, we have somebody tasked to do just that, Neville Basson. Nice, huh? How are you? Where's your mother? When are you going in bed to Shikata? Come on! Yes, and you see how these entrepreneurs come. My pledge! Comrade Minister, <laughs> Just so he can be seen, Tate Kuru Nioma made it very clear last year at Orufuko, and he said, I would like to uh, tell all of these people who are pledging, make sure that you pay what you are pledging. Because one year after this, we are still looking for the money. So as a beef talk, <laughs> pledge out of sincerity. by uh, different people. 
mostly my friends, my family, um, and my partners. It's not the... Uh, I, I can say most of the people who have, you, who have organized this thing, they just volunteered. And it, uh, I think it went uh, smooth. Um, I would like to thank, first of all, my husband uh, for being there. Um, he has seen me struggling, spending sleepless nights. There are times where I spend three nights straight on the flight, going back and forth, coming home frustrated by customers because of uh, poor service or whatever uncontrolled um, uh, circumstances. And uh, he, he just looked at me. <laughs> And let me be who I am. Thanks to Minister Kuamba Shipeta for being there since morning. And uh, thanks to all the models and uh, the organizers. I, have, uh, I was posting to Amanda, Amanda from Celebration, I was posting that no, I have heavy weights <laughs> on my back. Um, thank you all for coming. Um, Max. His back state. He came all the way from South Africa. The first time I met him, I dressed him for one event. So he's paying off. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Neville, I'm thanking you in advance for making uh, this pledge successful. In advance. <laughs> So I expect the best from you. Um, to everyone else, thank you very much. Um, I don't know how to thank you. This is very, very important to me. Thank you very much.